Raquel comes up to me and I'm like, what is going on? And she just nonchalantly looks at me and was like, yeah, Sandoval and I have been having an affair for seven months. Ariana just found out. What? <laughs>《我的梦想》就是你说“我很骄傲”，我很欣赏你，谢谢你们。来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，来，Not being with my family when they needed me the most. Not being there for you when you—you you didn't need me. But I just feel like I got sucked into a parallel universe. And of course, I let myself get sucked into. And it nearly broke you. And it nearly broke me. Broke and what's? They broke me in every. Yeah, I know. So, was it worth it? <laughs> oh, don't say that. Thank you. Can we please cheers just real quick? Yeah. Yes to being single, the single life, and to you and I dodging mother <laughs> bullets. Yes. Like, I went to Tom's today to take the dogs there, and right before that, he had done Sheena's podcast. She wanted to talk about the divorce, but in a healthy, positive way. Why? I don't... I don't know, respectfully. What did she ask? Just sh sh And he's like, you know, she's been, like, really, like, nudging me, pushing me into, like, dating, and, like, and I was like, oh, it's, like, Raquel, like, Raquel, Raquel, and I'm just like, oh, wait, wait she's yeah. pushing Raquel onto Tom? Yeah. She, like, really wants to. <laughs> Does she try to push you on, Schwartz? A little bit. Shut the f up. Are you being serious? Like, and what do you say? Just like, okay. I'm like, haha, no, no, never, you know? I do like Schwartz a lot. I don't know, like, I wouldn't ever date him seriously, though. Well, know? hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is when I will step in and defend my friend at all costs. And okay. if we want bodies laying everywhere, it's gonna be you hooking up with Schwartz. I mean, I get messy, but like, I wouldn't even do that shit. I don't want any serious relationship. Like, I'm so, so done with that. I don't and I think know. especially because I was so loyal to James for the past five years. Yeah. You were. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. James and I definitely hooked up while we were together. You guys were like pretty new into your relationship and I was pretty new into mine. Wow, really, Lala? You're gonna sit there and judge me for hypothetically making out with shorts, yet you slept with my boyfriend while we were together? You're such an effing hypocrite. Yeah, I know, I've, I've heard all about your plans, Gina. Katie, that night in Vegas, you literally said that you were okay with what and you would said. give her a call your I don't give a what I said. But I you said it! Well, that's the reason. How the why are, you, why are you giving so much weight to what I said in Vegas months ago? I'm telling you right now, I don't care. It's very f***ing disrespectful what you've been up to. All right? What you've been up to? What you do with Schwartz on your podcast f***ing gross. You and your podcast should just stop right here. Like, you do not need to talk about the most painful day of my life. None of your f***ing business. He didn't have to answer questions if he didn't okay, want but, to. But, like, I, I don't care what you think. There's no room for your feelings and thoughts in what we have going on. There's no room for you in this. Don't get too mad. Like, Schwartz and I didn't even make out. I know. So, I like, know. it's not even a big deal. I'm, I'm saying what, what she was trying to but do. But that wasn't my intention. Out. I'm not dangling the carrot of Raquel. We're all friends. You're saying that you've been going like, Schwartz, Schwartz, Schwartz. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And, I, okay, for that, I'm sorry, and I won't do that anymore, but you literally, Katie. I don't care. I'm not comfortable with it. Stop. Okay. Stop. Right I now. understand enough. that now. And enough. I'm not pushing enough. it enough. Enough. No. No. I'm not pushing it anymore. This is enough. It was enough. a one time. Enough. Get the out of my divorce or talk. I'm really proud of where we're coming and you're derailing everything. Well, that's you're not meddling, my intention. The fact that like you don't see troll. my. Okay. Like a little I'm a troll? Yes. Really? Okay.
I'm done with you. All right. Raquel, did you kiss the guy tonight? Yeah, I did. <gasps> Who? Oliver? Wait, you didn't see? Oliver? Yeah. She was supposed to kiss him. No, I was not. I thought so too. Raquel, why are you like this? Are you serious right now? Like, yeah. like it was Lala's territory and I was not allowed no. to kiss him? No, I gave her the okay. I just didn't even know you were interested. We heard you talk a lot about him, so it was like obvious that we were like, oh. Well, yeah, you that's really like excited. my type of guy. I'm starting to see a pattern in Raquel. It seems that she's only interested in men that her friends are either married to or interested in, and that is a big red flag for me. I will say, you drinking, I would never trust you around my man. Never. I mean, like, thank God you don't have a man to, like, in her around. What? Oh my God, Raquel. What? So last what's night, what's up, I up? had drinks with Allie. Yeah? You're making me like. No. Sorry. Last week, Allie did a girls' night with Lala, Katie, and Christina Kelly. <laughs> and I guess they had talked about how the other night after Sir, you guys all went to the Abbey together. Oh my God. Allie just like, oh no, like, you know, Raquel was just like with Sandoval on the dance floor or whatever. Katie then said, Raquel's now going after Sandoval. You know, it's funny that you say that because I, um, oh my God, dude. <laughs> The hatred towards, like, Raquel. You're going this far now to throw f***ing Tom and Ariana under the bus with her? Exactly. I'm At like, the Abbey, we know everybody there. Know. It's not a place where I would take a secret f***ing rendezvous. It's annoying that Katie would say something like that. It's insulting to not just me, but Ariana as well. Raquel and I were not, like, dancing all close in the dark corner of, like, a speakeasy. A bunch of us just went to the Abbey. By the way, you know Raquel slept at Sandoval's that night, right? How do you, how do you know about this? Because Katie called me last night, <gasps> and she was Katie at... knows? Yes. So let's get this straight. A few days ago, Katie was at Villa Rosa working on sandwiches while Ariana was back home at her grandmother's funeral. I love it. They're tasting sandwiches when Ken walks out and drops the mother of all gossip bombs. I can't believe what? that Tom Zanderville had Raquel oh. over when Ariana's away. I know. In the jacuzzi as well. What? And she stayed all night, yeah? I know. Are you lying? I believe that. Are you spreading rumors? Marky, huh? come on. How does he know? I told him earlier. Well, what do you know? Raquel was late because she was hungover. The day before, Lisa is doing a tasting for the new menu at Sir when Raquel rolls up an hour and a half late. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late. Tell me why you're late. Sit down here. I want to hear why you're late. I overslept. Overslept? I stayed up late. I went back to Tom's place and we went in the jacuzzi with Schwartz. Oh, so you were in with both of them? Just you three? Yeah. Mm. Where did you stay last night? At Sandoval's. Nothing happened though. Like, it's it not like- doesn't matter whether anything happened. It it's just the bad. fact that you I were know, there. I know, it looks bad. I know. It was just easier to sleep on the couch and stay the night. Y'all know Lisa? She can sniff bullshit from a mile away. So of course, she calls Sandoval. Hello, you. Hey. I'm calling you because Raquel has just shown up here an hour and a half late looking like a bag of <laughs> And then she said she got so wasted last night and ended up spending the night at your house. That's not funny. We just hung out for a little bit. Just literally dipped out like it's, I don't know, like actually she, she Left uh, hold on a second. So she didn't stay the night. I said she dipped out, which is true. She dipped out. What does like, dipped out mean? Dipped out means she left. She left. She bought. No, no, no. She did stay the night. No. Hey, so Jason said he was leaving the party, and then you said, no, I'm actually going to stay. What? No, no, no. Because I don't. like, dude, I'm dipping out. Right, and then you chose to stay longer. Yes, I don't know. I found out that my grandma died like while you were there. 
you knew about that, and then Jason said, I'm going to leave, and then you said, I'm going to stay. Well, yeah, I kind of figured you wanted to be alone. Then I was like, why can't you come home and you couldn't get a ride? She wants to know why you didn't ride with Jason. I don't know. Like, I... I, I don't need to know. I'm not in a relationship with him. No, no I, with you, I was fine with how things transpired that day. Like, I didn't, I wasn't, you know, but I you was know, like, Ariana, look, that, it's, that it's like, okay to say, I wanted you with me that day. And then you, can you? Car. No, 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 I couldn't, at that point, I couldn't get a car. Tom, I was standing right there no, with I know, you I and know, Jason. No, I know, I know, yeah. You said you didn't know Jason left because you were taking a You realize you put me in a position with this where people will think that I'm an idiot. Everyone thinks that you just wanted to hang out there for a few hours that's after That's definitely what I think because that's definitely what I saw. My band was performing at Tom Tom in LA for the release of my new single. And when I was performing, my phone fell out of my pocket and somebody handed it to Ariana for safekeeping. Call it woman's intuition, call it light bulb, call it whatever. Literally in that moment, I went, I need to look at this. In his camera roll, I found a screen recording of Raquel and Tom on FaceTime. My stomach dropped into my ass. I would normally delete something like that, but it had been such a busy, chaotic day. So I quickly got us outside so everyone around us couldn't hear us talk. I called Raquel saying, have, if you have ever given a about me, tell me when this happened. Raquel comes up to me and I'm like, what is going on? And she just nonchalantly looks at me and was like, yeah, Sandoval and I have been having an affair for seven months. Ariana just found out. <laughs> what? I learned on Wednesday night that there are evil, evil people in this world and sometimes they're the people closest to you. I don't know how it happened, it just, it happened. We became really good friends. Like I was seeking something that I wasn't getting here. And th that's selfish, it's really selfish. Selfish is the nicest word you could use. It's horrible. Me and Raquel became like really good friends. I don't give a about Raquel! Your friendship is bullshit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's bullshit. It's you know everything. You it's know disgusting. everything. Hey, everybody. You are disgusting. This person knows everything. Your friendship you can't with tell Raquel you anybody. You is can't, disgusting. You cannot tell. Well, guess what? It's real because she treats me with respect. Mm. Something I haven't gotten from you in a long time. So I'm the scapegoat. I'm not saying I'm you're the blame. scapegoat. I'm trying to get you to understand that, like. That you just had to my friend. It wasn't about It was about a connection where we actually, like, we're respecting each other and giving each other confidence. That's you right now.